What's up anime fans, this is Raphael from C Manga and welcome back to another review of Death Parade this week's episode 11, Memento Mori. have to say this is probably one of the most beautiful episodes I've seen in this series so far. Um, I think Madhouse did a very very good job animating this. The whole sequence with Shiyuki was probably the highlight of this episode. The ice skating was beautifully done, the animation just looked really crisp and what I liked was it was play it was done with some wonderful music in the background and the narrative was basically just visual. There was no sort of dialogue needed for that. You just basically had to see and you understood. This is kind of like a common thing you see in anime where you know visual communication overtakes um verbal communication and it was very, very apparent in this episode. Definitely loved it. Um and it's it it was funny because we had kind of two contrasting um, points in this episode we had the beautiful part with Shiyuki and Deckham then we had the kind of more darker um, I'd say very depressing scenes with Ginty and Mayu and I'd have to say Ginty definitely took um, I'd say centre stage with this one he's um, I'd say characteristics were very very I'd say demonic in this episode somewhat um, sadistic and he basically presented Mayu with the choice to choose another soul to be sent into the void in exchange for Harada because Harada's soul was basically it's like the puppet was there but the soul was empty so to exchange um, a soul for his then that would mean he would be resurrected or something like that and funny thing is it seemed like um, there was a cameo appearance or reference it, um, the soul that was actually shown to uh, Mayu looked like like Yagami and apparently the people from Death Note um, have also worked in Death Parade so maybe that was a deliberate thing they put in there but the the way this episode ended with um, Ginty and Mayu was very I'd say deceiving because he kind of um, gave a de decision she's obviously said I'll never betray um, Harada and she's obviously chosen to sacrifice the other soul so Ginty's like okay fair enough but it's like what what's so special about your life why are you convinced what you're doing is right and she says she doesn't care what anyone else thinks she believes that um her devotion and everything she's done there's nothing wrong with it she doesn't have to care but she feels unlike arbiters you know i have a choice you don't i pity you and ginty's like okay then and he's like so be it and he sends them in the lift and when we see the skull thing it looks like it was they were going to be resurrected but it switches and instead they're sent down into um, the void and this is the actual first time we've actually seen what happens when people are sent into the void and it's actually quite disturbing because it gets really dark um, we even saw like a slowdown scene where they're all peeling off um, Mayu is um, <clears throat> embracing Harada and then basically their souls completely separate from their body and the uh, puppets all the skin and everything bursts off and they're just let the dummies all what's left on the mannequins are just left on the floor and Ginty has just seems to not really care he just disagrees with her decisions or notions and this is how he thinks it's like I've never second guessed uh, my decisions because humans in his opinion he believes they just live to die which is in contrast to Deccan who believes they don't live to die so um, when Ginty um, explains he says that humans um, live for themselves but when they're presented with death now this is when they become more pathetic and panicking so it's, it's like he just pities humans he doesn't seem to care but I'm interested to see um, how his character is going to be portrayed in the next I'll say the final episode because this decision was really really weird and um, I'd say sadistic and as I say because it contrasts Deckham so much it's very interesting to see this is how one person one arbiter does their decisions and this is how another one so um yeah definitely I'd say looking at Ginty a lot differently this um um this week but more or less as I said I enjoyed that the whole deception and everything he did and as I said looking forward to see more from him but as I said going back to the Deckham part it was very interesting to see how much um, human like he's become he was asking quite a few questions so Yuki like wanted to know more about her life he even um, requested uh, memories from her and this is I think this was the ice skating thing that he wanted to know 
he wanted to know various stuff from her and this was all portrayed as I said from um, when she was young all the way up to um, adulthood when she becomes a professional ice skater and it's all quite beautiful she's living quite a decent life but then unfortunately she suffers a knee accident and then her life from then on basically um, forces her to retire and she completely loses I'd say sense of duty on her life or any sort of purpose and this eventually leads her to her committing suicide because she's so depressed she can't understand any other humans and she just doesn't know what to do and I have to admit kind of annoyed that her death was something as simple as suicide I thought it would be something more elaborate or something more um, different from what you would expect but maybe there's more to see in the next episode from that because it's, I felt like you know it just seemed a bit too simple too quick um, to know that she just basically offed herself and then but the interesting thing was what she didn't seem to understand in life she understood in death she's saying I didn't have a clue about what to do after that I just fell into depression and then she said she couldn't believe that everything in her life and the people that she didn't seem to understand after losing her ice skating career was something she ironically learned um, when she died so it's basically in some way she has sort of wasted her life but funny enough Deckham was very sweet towards her he actually said that despite everything he was glad to meet her so maybe that will you know kind of bring her hopes up or make her feel a bit better about herself but as I said it was very well done um, this episode especially as I said the whole ice skating scene and seeing her whole life just basically through a collage of um, images and um, in scenes like that um, but now we're basically down to Deckham has you might as I said um, made her fall asleep and I think this will probably be the final judgment we're going to have next episode um, we even have the last bit kind of eerie part between Nona and Oculus and he seems to obviously know everything that's going on from what he learned um, absorbing the information from the other arbiter last time so I feel like there's going to be a lot of dramatic um, stuff going on in the next episode, a lot of conflict and actions and things like that, it's probably going to be a very very good finale for this season and I'm definitely looking forward to it so yeah as I said very beautiful episode this week but I definitely think the next one's probably going to be more dramatic maybe depressing action packed who knows but definitely looking forward to see that just wish the series was a bit longer because we didn't really get to see much of the other characters we only got to obviously focus on Deckham, um, Chiyuki, Mayu, um, Nona a bit of Oculus and a bit of Ginty so I wish we could have seen more of the others but as I said I'm still satisfied with this and I can't wait to see um, the final episode for this series so you guys know the usual I enjoyed this episode let me know what you think in the comment box below and I'll speak to you guys next week take care